Hey guys, Scuba here again. We talked about it earlier. We're going to go a little bit more in depth to um, the depth reading uh, on your detector and how it can be fooled by different size items. Uh, first thing we have here is a pretty big size item. It's aluminum crushed Coke can. Uh, the next one's going to be what the detector is set up to find is just a quarter. And then lastly, and what really a mess with you is these little bitty pieces of aluminum foil. I mean, that is just a tiny piece. I'll put the quarter next to it just to show. It's just a tiny little piece of flake. Uh, it could be called aluminum slaw or just a bubblegum wrapper or whatever. And that's what will really mess you up. We're going to take a look at it from the detector end. And then I'll try and set it up so we can actually see how high off the ground it's actually uh, reading. All right, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is the aluminum can. What's going to happen is the aluminum can is going to present that it is uh, a lot closer to the detector than it actually is. You'll actually see that the coil is going to be about a foot off the ground. Uh, when it's still saying about eight inches or, or six we'll start right up next to it and it'll say two all right and that's a good approximation we're about two inches and as you go up it says about four six i'm about eight inches now and as we go higher up to about a foot maybe 18 inches it's still going off at eight inches all right so a big item like that will mess with the detector uh, so that's a good reason when you get a signal and you're digging and you can't find it for whatever reason just to keep on digging it's going to be down there your detector unless the sensitivity is way out and you've got a, a ground mineralization issue the detector is not going to lie there's something down there let me reset this paper and we'll uh, try it on the quarter all right guys we're back the wind's kind of blowing and it's uh, messing with my paper here and just so happen to have a sign right here I promise i'm not blatantly advertising but i couldn't resist it uh, we're going to use this sign to hold the paper down a little bit. Uh, we're going to try the coin next. We're going to start off right up next to it. And that's about right, two inches. And as we back away, four inches is about right. Six. And it dropped out right about at six. If I bump the sensitivity up, I bet we'll get it all the way to eight. And there we go. All right. Most people run into two to prevent false ones, so that's where we're going to keep it up at. All right, this next one is the one that's the tricky one that's going to mess with you. Uh, is the little piece of aluminum foil. All right, we're going to start out high because you're not going to be able to pick it up. All right, and look, we're it's actually rubbing on the paper right now, and it's showing eight inches. Uh, when I see something like that, uh, I'll usually hit my pinpointer and back away. And if my signal disappears instantly as soon as I lift off the ground, I kind of think that that's something on the ground. I'll run it over with my handheld pinpointer first because most of the times it's usually sitting there on the surface. So I'll do it again. Basically sitting on the paper and it's saying eight inches. So that's the way uh, different size items will mess with your detector. I'll uh, set the tripod up and let you get a side view of it so you can see actually how high it is off the ground. And I'll call out the numbers. All right, guys, here we are again. We're going to start off with the can, and I'll call out the numbers. It's showing two inches here, four inches there, about two inches, eight inches. It's still picking it up. Six inches, eight inches, eight inches. I'm a good foot off the ground. I don't know if you can still see it anymore, but I'm good ways off the ground. So. Uh, you're a big uh, big size object like a can or whatever will be out of range but still show eight inches and be pretty deep so keep digging for that item uh, we're gonna go into the coin which is what it's uh, supposed to look for these numbers will be the most accurate two four five six and eight and it dropped off right at eight all right and we're going to go to the slaw, which is going to be the most inaccurate. Sitting right on it is eight. And then it doesn't pick it up after that hardly. All right, so about two inches. But sitting right on it shows eight. And we're hunting in all metal mode. Uh, so that's, that's what we're hunting in. Um, that's why you generally always want to swing your metal detector with your coil as close as you can get it um, 
they the Garrett says about one inch off the ground but everybody I know pretty much keeps it on the ground unless you're in rocks or shell or anything like that so you don't damage your search coil but uh, pretty much keep it on the ground because the higher you go the uh, the less depth you're gonna use and you may be able to miss that small item that's sitting right on the surface or that deeper item that's just out of the detectors range so all right guys thanks for watching go make a skydive